Hey guys, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this sensational Sabbath Sunday. I know I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings to you. And love and light. And blessings are yet to come. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, please... Please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you can, please give me a thumbs up if you resonate with the video and enjoy what you saw. And if you're a returning sub, as always, love and light and namaste to you. And many blessings are yet to come. And love and light. And thanks for the support. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Karma Repaid in Kind. And today I'm back to my uh, reggae resort uh, meditation beats uh, instrumental. I love this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the link down below in case you want to listen to your, yourself. And I think it's about it's about three hours. So it's just like really, you know, looking. I got Bob in the background and listen to the reggae. Who can go wrong? Um, you guys, when you know you're going through stuff, you know, and you're doing right. And, um... You know, you're going to go through things, and it's just like so many blessings are coming into my life, and I see so many signs that's coming on, but you know, you always got to deal with the evilness too. It just seems like the devil is always busy, and it's just like if he sees that you are doing good, he will put some stuff in your midst to shake that chain, and it's just like last night, um, I was praying and, you know, going through stuff and just felt overwhelmed, you know, we get like that. And it's just like you see so many things, you're, you're being kind to people. And it's just like right now I'm going through a situation where it feels like I'm living in my own living nightmare. And I can't get away from And it's just like things that I know I have to let go of. And it, it can, sometimes it can seem hard. You know, like I've made videos to let go of the pain, past hurt and pain and stuff like that. And it could be basically you're beating a dead horse. And it's over, but it's just sometimes it's hard to let go, if you, especially if you've been going through it for so long. And then, basically, it was just like the spirit guys had drew me to watch my dad's uh, movie, Graffiti Bridge. And it was just basically, he was it was just like watching myself, you know. And he was just like, there's an angel inside your head. Is it, you know, is it there? Or, you know, is it just make-believe? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, he was just like saying he was talking to his dad and I guess his dad had passed away from him committing suicide because it was like a spinoff from you know Purple Rain and he was just like when you have love there it's just that you need to see that sign you know is it there and I'm trying not to get emotional guys so excuse me so when you see it there all you see is blue you know and it's, I felt that way, you know, I'm just like, God, please send me a sign, you know, because it's just like, there's so many blessings that's coming along, but I just, I get angry with myself sometimes when it's hard to let go of things. So, you know, guys, we're human. We go through that. And it's just like, when you go through things, you're going to have your ups and downs. There's going to be, you know, like I said, it's going to be bad, you know, good with bad. And it was just this one thing that the, the girl Aura, she had said, um, Basically, you can't fight fire with fire. When a man screams, you have to learn how to whisper. And that's true. You can't, you know, when you have somebody, you know, going through this with my ex. And it, it was just hard to let go of. And it was just like, wow, you know, I can't go about doing things like he does things. So I'm just like, you know, I'm going to treat him like he treats me. And it's just like, no, don't do that. Because it, it basically tells you that you're not being any better than them. Even though they're trying to, you know, hurt you because they see you, you know, basically getting through things and you're, you know, you got strength that you never knew you had. And, you know, and they always tell you, oh, you know, he'll tell me, oh, you can't do this or, you know, I can't, you know, basically shot down things. He tried to be encouraging, but try to put things down at the same time. And it's just like, you know, you can't really go through all life like that, you know, just because. You might have a person, you might have a significant other or ex-significant other. You might have a family member or you might have a friend or you might have a co-worker. They'll put you down. Don't go on the route that they're going. That just basically shows you that your character is no better than theirs. And I, you know, and I was just like, you know, do I need to act the same way they do? And just like, no, don't do that. So I had to just basically, it was just telling me, just hold on. Your blessings are right around the corner. It's just if you can let go of the old, you can release that 
you know, all these good things are happening and, you know, you're beating a dead horse because it's already been said and done. So it's just like when you got to release things. So it's just like when you start having all these good things happening, you will have blessings coming left and right. And, you know, you can be happy. You can be really happy about things. And it's like that one thing the devil want to always do is just throw something in the mix just to rattle you up because the devil don't want to see you happy. You know, they will bring people in your life and past, you know, stuff that's in your life. And you won't, you know, it's just, just to irritate you. You know, there'll be things going on with your family members you just don't understand. You have to let that go too. You know, just because they want to do something a certain kind of way, you just got to let them, you know, let them be them. If this meant for them to, you know, to fall on their face to get back up, you have to let them do that. They have to learn like you did. You know, if they choose to go the hard way, let them go that way. But you still be be kind because you want your blessings. You need your blessings. And it's just the fact that you don't go about things the way they're going about things. So it, it's just like I I was just like, okay, I'm not going to be like that. Because I, I can be very mean when I want to be, but I don't like being that way. Because I know it's not in my nature. But I know if somebody puts me in that predicament, I, I can get that way. And I try not to be that way. So guys, when you're going through things. You know, you're going to have your ups and downs. You you already know when you're, even when your faith is up, that's when you know faith steps in. That's when you know you got to just, I ask, you know, I call on the archangels. It's just like I call on archangel Michael, Samuel, Shamuel, you know, Raphael. I, I'm called on all of them. You know, give me that strength. Give me that patience, you know, to get me through this. And I know things are going to get better for me. You know, I see it, you know, I see it all the time. And it's just like when you see all these things happening for you, that's what you need to concentrate on. Concentrate on. Don't never take your eyes off the prize. Don't never take your eyes off the prize. It's just that that's what it wants you to do, steer you away from the things that you want the most. So it's just like you can't give up on your situation. But it's just if you need to and you ask prayer, you know, ask God for guidance. Ask God for, you know, strength when, you, when you're going through things. And it's just like, you know, I have to pray for the people that just be pissing me off. <laughs> I got to pray for them because it's just like, boy, woo, <laughs> you try not to be that way. You try not to really be that way. And it's just like. I'm going to make it through this. You know, uh, things going to get better for me. And it was just like, I broke down and cried when I saw that whole movie. And it was just like watching myself, you know, he didn't want to give up. And it was just like Morris was kind of reminding me of my ex, you know, just trying to do any and everything to just try to break you down, tearing up stuff and, you know, just acting stupid. And I ain't going through no physical stuff. So, you know, I don't want you guys thinking I'm going through anything like that. It's more mental and emotional. So it's just like, you know, trying to find your way to get up out of this. And it's just like, you know, your financial is just kind of tight. So it's not like you can just up and leave. So it's just like, you know, you already know what you got to do. You got to be able to set free because it just feels like I'm in a, in a, you know, in my own personal hell. Like I even told him, you make, I, you make me feel like I'm in my own personal hell and I can't deal with it. So it, it's just like when you go through stuff like that, let it go. Because I guarantee you that mess going to come right back around. So it's just like it is what it is. So, you know, when you go through things like that, just pray and ask for guidance. And things will be okay. You know, it might not seem like that, at, you know, right now. But just concentrate on all the good things that's going on around you. And that's where you put your energy in. And then you'll never go wrong. And it's just like, like old girl in the movie said, you know, if you, if you don't never stop believing, you can't lose anything. So, I'm not trying to hold you guys up today, and I will talk to you later, and I hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday, and be responsible for everything you do, and I will talk to you later, and please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button when you feel free, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video, and even give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment, I love to have positive feedback, and I will talk to you later oh guys i'm sorry if i have not got a hold of anybody's uh new videos because i know i've got some new subscribers so i apologize if i have not got to your your channel because i am starting up some new stuff right now so i have been very busy for the last few days so i do apologize if i've not been able to hit you up and you know show you my support so i will be doing that in and out the week so it's just like it might be in a few days or whatever but just trust and believe i will be there so be patient with me and I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.